presented by Utan Channel. Starting there. Summer vacation had ended and the cultural festival was approaching. The cultural festival was a school-wide event where we put on plays, set up stores, and engaged in various activities. Our class was in charge of an exhibit of feature of geology, climate, and humans in our town. So we stayed late preparing for it. The school allowed students to stay late during this time. There were three of us, Joe, Kite, and myself, working on building the set. It was then that Joe, always full of curiosity, started talking. Hey, have you guys heard about the 13 stairs? Both Kite and I looked at each other, as we had no idea what he was talking about. We shook our heads. You know the staircase that leads to the rooftop, right? It's supposed to have only 12 steps, but rumor has it that if you count them precisely at midnight, there are 13 steps. We all denied it, thinking it was nonsense. Well done, well done. Don't dismiss it so quickly. How about checking out tonight? It's not every day we can stay at school until midnight. I was easily scared so I hesitated. But Kite seemed excited. So I reluctantly agreed. But what about the door that leads to those stairs? It's usually locked, right? How will we open it? No worry, there. I told the new janitor about the story who's become my friend. He got so interested that he promised to leave it unlocked. It seemed that Joe had intended to confirm the rumor of these 13 spears from the beginning. Fifteen minutes before midnight, while our classmates were still working, we took a short break saying we were going to the last room. The door to the rooftop was, as Joe had mentioned, not locked. Five minutes before midnight, we counted the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We counted them and there were only twelve steps. We went back downstairs and waited for midnight. Alright, let's count again. We nodded at each other and began climbing the stair one step at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. It was 12 steps, right? I asked Joe and Kite. They both confirmed it was indeed 12 steps. Joe seemed frustrated. Well, I guess it's just a school girl story, something students made up for fun. I mumbled to reassure myself. Let's go back down. We descended the stairs. But when we reached the door and opened the door halfway, Joe, who had followed a little behind us, called out to us. But wait! When I counted on the way down, there were 13 steps. We thought Joe might have made a mistake or been joking us and counting the stairs one more time as we climbed. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. As soon as we finished counting, the door which was partially open suddenly slammed shut, and a feeling washed over us. 
I could feel cold sweat running down my spine. We could hear footsteps, even though there shouldn't have been anyone there. The footsteps echoed in the space. Something was approaching. We are frozen in fear. We felt something comes to the bottom of the stairs. First step. Second step. Third step. A steady rhythm, whatever it was, came closer to where we were. Fourth step. Fifth step. Sixth step. I was drenched in sweat from head to toe. Seventh step. Eighth step. As it neared the ninth step, Kite suddenly screamed and rushed down the stairs. Inspired by his action, Joe and I also hurriedly descended. The door, which shouldn't have been locked, wouldn't open. We rammed into it with all our strengths. Finally, the door opened and we sprinted back to our classroom. Did you enjoy this movie? If you get scared, tap good. If you not get scared, give me comment.